I'm Leo Sidrin with The Art of the Story. It's been said that writing about music is like dancing about architecture. The idea is that some things are just what they are, and it's nearly impossible to define them using any outside criteria. For singer-songwriter Kevin Johansson and cartoonist Liniers, the lines are a little less defined, even when they're drawn in dark ink. The two perform, each in their own way, simultaneously, together, yet apart. Johansson was born in Alaska to an Argentine mother and an American father. During the nearly 10 years that he lived in New York in the 1990s, he developed a musical concept that blends languages and genres. He sings in English and Spanish and combines elements of rock, folk, and South American folklore. I had accumulated an audience in New York, and I was hammering at it. So that was really like my school. You know, it kind of came to fruition towards the end of the 90s that I had been able to get close to what I wanted to be on stage and my persona. Kevin showcased that persona on his debut album, The Nada. The album included his now beloved anthem, Mac Guevara's or Che Donald's, which raises the question of how Che Guevara would feel about seeing his image printed on t-shirts and posters for sale in America. Although the Nada was recorded in New York, Kevin released it in Argentina, and soon he was playing for audiences of thousands. His success in the South was both understandable to him and a bit confounding as well. I kind of laugh at myself because I'm like this slash songwriter slash world music guy with a gringo name. Despite his gringo name, Kevin's music started to reach a wider audience, including a well-known cartoonist named Ricardo Liniers Siri, who goes simply by Liniers. The two developed an attachment which endures over two decades later. I love the guy. He's someone that I recommend you become friends with. He's very generous. Liniers, who moved from Argentina to Vermont eight years ago, jokes that he had to leave South America just to get away from his friend. Yeah, we really don't like each other. So we could stand living in the same country like 10 years and then we, one of us was going to get out. This playful banter is at the heart of their duo performances, which quite literally draw on their mutual appreciation for one another. While Kevin sings and plays guitar, Liniers creates live works of art inspired by the songs. And although the two friends know the material intimately, they maintain a flexible attitude in their show. There's always something that happens on the show or that someone brings, like, I'm going to do this today. Let's see if he notices it. For Liniers, the project is especially meaningful because it gets him out of the house. I'm alone in a room, like, all day drawing. For Johansson, it's a question of complementary forms of creative expression. Liniers does something that you can't hear, and you can't see what I do. Music is invisible. It's intangible. Listening to a cartoon, watching a song, dancing about architecture, flirting with disaster, whatever Whatever you call it, Kevin Johansson and Liniers are enjoying themselves, and it's contagious. For WBGO News, I'm Leo Sidron.